This is an award-winning fire pit. It took home the Golden Hammer Award for being an innovative and all-around great product. It has been designed and then redesigned to burn a hot and smokeless fire, to be efficient and to be easy to clean. But how easy and smokeless is it really? Did this really deserve an award or was this just a participation ribbon? In this video, we're gonna find out because we're gonna test the square peak from Blue Sky so that you can know if this pit is worth spending your money on and it's going to improve your outdoor time or not. So we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna test wood, we're gonna test pellets, we're gonna clean it up, and I'm gonna see if it's worth the hype or not. I'm Kat from Camp Fire Boss. And if you love spending time outdoors, around a campfire, or just in your backyard, and want to learn how to make that time as special as possible, then you're in the right place. So let's go. As you saw, this had some assembly required, but it really wasn't too bad. All of the holes lined up. So although there was assembly, it really was not hard. So I set it out here on our piece of concrete. We got new chairs my husband picked out. I really like them. So I'm excited to get started burning some wood in the square peak and seeing how it goes. The instructions said to use 16 inch firewood and to put three pieces at the bottom going the same direction and then layering three more pieces on top going the other direction. But it also said to keep everything below this top row holes so that it stays as smokeless as possible. Before I light this thing on fire, I wanna show you this cool tabletop accessory that I got for the square peak. Just sits on there like that, it's really nice metal, and it turns it into a coffee table. That's pretty cool. To get it lit, I'm gonna use my favorite natural fire starter, stump chunks. I'm gonna use this to fill some of the crevices between the logs and then light it up. To get it lit, I'm gonna use my favorite long-handled propane torch. As you saw, it did start really easily with the stump chunks sticking them in the cracks method and that <laughs> propane torch did not hurt either getting it started. This is kind of my favorite way to light campfires because it's so easy. Right now we do have smoke and it's kind of a lot. But what I found with these smokeless fire pits is that that's always the case when you first light the fire anyway. And especially when you're burning wood, you really have to wait until that fire gets good and hot before it starts being smokeless. So I'm definitely gonna give it time. I'm not making any judgments yet on this as far as how smokeless it is. It's definitely too early. So while I wait for it to heat up and hopefully the smoke to dissipate, I will tell you that this fire pit weighs 40 pounds and I can move it around by myself pretty easily. I took out that ashtray and grate, carried the burn chamber by itself, and then put the ashtray back in. 
it was pretty easy for me to lift and move around. The pit is a square, 22 inches wide both directions, and it's 16 inches tall. And the way the smokeless feature is supposed to work in these blue skies is that the bottom has vents all the way around. And I don't know if you noticed this or not when I was assembling it, but there's a hollow chamber all the way around the body of the fire pit. And then there are holes all the way around the inside of the top of the fire pit. So oxygen gets sucked into these vents and then it gets really hot as it moves up that hollow chamber and then finally shoots out those holes. And it's supposed to be superheated. Blue Sky calls it a secondary burn because sometimes you can actually see flames coming out of those holes. And those flames are supposed to burn up any smoke or debris, little ash pieces that would otherwise fly out as smoke in your face. This fire pit does have a three year limited warranty, but it only covers if something would break and you can't use it anymore. It doesn't cover rust or patina or anything that's cosmetic like that. It does have some accessories you can get for it. You saw the tabletop accessory that I got that can turn this into into a coffee table. Looks pretty cool. You can also get a protective cover for it that's made just for this fire pit so it fits perfectly. And there's also a spark screen that can go on top. So when you are burning wood, you don't have to worry about those sparks shooting out into your eyes. I let the fire burn a little bit longer and now that it's rolling and it's heated up, there is a lot less smoke. In fact, I don't really notice much at all right now, but I did notice that I have room for one more piece of firewood on top. So I'm gonna shove everything over a little bit, stick that one piece in there and see what happens. I'm putting on my safety glove. to let my camera cool off a little bit because it was getting a little hot and I was getting a little worried. I actually ended up adding three pieces of firewood because there was the space and I couldn't really help myself. I was scared maybe I tried to fly a little too close to the sun, but I think it's working okay. Fire did not get choked out or anything. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the fire is so hot, I'm starting to get some of that secondary burn come out of those holes at the top of the fire pit, which is kind of cool to see. And now that the fire's hot, I'm hardly seeing any smoke at all. And I'm really not smelling that much smoke. Maybe just a little bit, but not a ton. One thing that I found with at least the smokeless fire pits that I've tested so far is that when you're burning wood, it's probably not going to be 100% smokeless. Maybe there's like some kind of ideal condition that I have not encountered yet where it is 100% smokeless. But I will say that it definitely reduces the smoke, sometimes considerably. There's always like a hint of smoke. If you're going to buy this thing and expect it to be 100% smokeless when you're burning wood, that's probably not reality, but I don't think that's reality for any smokeless fire pit. We'll find out. And now that this thing is really hot, I wanted to test it with my infrared thermometer and see how hot the outside of the pit is. So the top part of the fire pit is about 430 degrees. The bottom of the fire pit, about 230 degrees. And the concrete under the fire pit is about 200 degrees, give or take. The Square Peak has been really fun to use. And I have really been impressed with the low levels of smoke that are coming out of the fire pit. And it's a lot more enjoyable to sit around than just like a regular fire ring where the smoke is in your face pretty much constantly. So I'm gonna let this firewood burn itself completely out, let it cool off, and then I'm gonna try burning some pellets in it and see how it goes. To clean the square peak, you just sweep the ashes into the center over the grate. Then you use the handles to lift it out, and now you can dump it wherever you want to dump your ash. Now I'm ready to test it with pellets, and I'm going to use Fit Boss pellets. They were a decent price, and I had them in my garage. The instructions say to fill it with two inches of pellets, but no more than two inches of pellets if you want it to stay smokeless. So I'm wondering how much of this bag it's gonna take to get two inches of pellets in this fire pit. So let's find out. I just dumped the entire bag in there and I would say that's around two inches. I mean, I don't have a ruler, but I think it's pretty close. And once again, I'm going to use stump chunks. My favorite all natural fire starter to get it going. I'm gonna put a couple handfuls right in the middle of the pellets. I'm gonna use my torch again to get it started. We'll let this burn and see how long that full bag of pellets lasts in the square peak. It 
it's burning really hot right now. And you can see that secondary burn with the flames coming out of all those holes at the top of the fire pit. It actually looks really cool and I don't smell any smoke at all. I'm curious to see how hot the outside of the fire pit is and the concrete underneath. So I'm gonna use my infrared thermometer again and take some readings. I'm glad this thermometer works from a distance because I don't think it's safe to be any closer than I am right now. So the top of the fire pit is about 450 degrees. The bottom of the fire pit is only about 100 degrees and the concrete under that is also only about 100 degrees. It is a beautiful day today and I really like the square peak. I think this is maybe my favorite blue sky so far that I've used. And if you want to look into this for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. Now I think I just want to sit in my new chair and enjoy this for a while. The last of the flames have finally pooped out and that whole bag lasted probably about 45 minutes. But you can see how glowing red hot it is right under the surface. So if you throw more pellets on here, they would ignite instantly and you can keep this fire going. The fire's gone out, but it's still really hot. So I'm gonna keep my distance. But I thought this was a good time to talk about pros and cons. And if you haven't figured it out already, I actually really love this fire pit. And I think there's only one con and that's assembly. But I mean, there are very few people in the world who like to put things together. Sometimes it's kind of fun. While you did have to like find a pair of pliers and a screwdriver, it really was not that hard to put together. And it's just a one-time thing and it's done. But other than that, it is all pros for me. So some of the biggest pros with the Square Peak is that it holds regular size firewood. Some of the round smokeless fire pits I've used, it seems like you have to have really short firewood to be able to keep it below those holes so it stays smokeless. Not a problem with this Square Peak. You can just throw them right in, not an issue. Another pro is that dual fuel capability. It is really handy to be able to burn wood or pellets depending on what you want. Firewood's cheap and readily available and pellets are a little more expensive, but they're also easy to store and they're cleaner and they actually burn really hot. So if that's something that is also important to you, this is great for that. As far as the smokeless design goes for the square peak, I thought it was a very smokeless fire for both the pellets and the wood. This is one of the most smokeless, smokeless fire pits that I've tested and I was really impressed with that. And another pro for the square peak is its size because I think it's big enough that you could have a family of five or five friends around this fire pit. But it's also light enough that you could take it with you camping or tailgating. It's only 40 pounds. So you could stick it in the back of your truck, you could lift it in and out, not a big deal. So I think it is a really versatile fire pit. And for those reasons, I also think it's a really good value for your money. I really like the look of the square fire pit, but if you like the size of this one, but prefer a more round fire pit look, then this might be the perfect fire pit for you. Same smokeless design, same black steel, round shape. So you can see my review of the round peak from Blue Sky in this next video. So thanks for watching and have fun at your next campfire.